Hello and welcome to the episode 363 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have a couple of performances, the start of the work on Penny Lane and a visit to Denmark. On the 29th of December 1961, the Beatles, still featuring Pete Best on drums, performed an evening concert at a cavern club in Liverpool, sharing the bill with the Yorkshire Jazz Band. In 1962, the Beatles, this time in their definitive lineup with Ringo Starr on drums, performed at the Star Club for the 11th night of their 13-date final residence in Hamburg, West Germany. Moving forward to 1964, we get the fourth night of the Another Beatles Christmas Show production at the Odeon Cinema in Hammersmith, London. Only one show tonight, with the Beatles busy as usual with their two comedy sketches and the 11 song set that closed the show. On the 29th of December 1966, there were three different sessions at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road, London. For a start, in the two sessions happening between 2.30 and 5.45 pm, producer George Martin created a mono mix of When I'm 64 and a mono and stereo mix of Strawberry Fields Forever. Later, between 7 pm and 2.15 am, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr arrived on the premises to tape the basic rhythm track of a new song, Penny Lane. Paul had first talked about his desire to write a song about a street in Liverpool in November 1965, during an interview taking place during a break of the production of the music of Lennon and McCartney. See episode 305 for more information on that show. Today, more than a year later, Paul took the first steps to record the song, working on various keyboard tracks, using different pianos and harmoniums, and overdubbing some of the parts, feeding them through a box guitar amplifier with a tremolo effect. Ringo added a tambourine part. The work produced six takes. Two rough mono mixes of the work were completed before the end of the session. Let's close the episode with the 29th of December 1969 trip that John Lennon and Yoko Ono took, flying from London to reach the small town of Aalborg in Denmark. They visited Yoko's first husband, Tony Cox, staying with his new wife and Yoko and Tony's daughter, six-year-old Kyoko. The Lennons spent the rest of the year in the Cox's farmhouse, enjoying peace and a certain anonymity before attracting the interest of the locals. During the stay, John decided to cancel his support for the International Peace Festival he wanted to help organize in Canada for the following year, unless the other organizers had agreed to make it a free entry festival. They didn't. Once again, we've reached the end of our episode, but don't worry, there will be more tomorrow. In the meantime, if you want, please visit www.simonmas.com support. You should know the drill by now. If not, just visit and you'll see. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.